Hi, I'm Chris Rycroft, and welcome to Harvard Applied Math 205, a graduate course in scientific computing and numerical methods. A big component of Applied Math 205 is the final project, where you can take the material that you've learnt in the course and apply it to some area of your own interest. In this video, we're going to review the final project organisation and logistics. AM205 involves the final project that's worth 32% of the grade, and this will be due by Monday, December 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and this deadline is set by the Harvard Registrar. By this time, we expect you to upload your project and any associated code to Canvas. In general, final projects should be completed in groups of two or three students. However, we will allow single-person projects with instructor permission, and we'll also allow projects with four or more students with instructor permission. However, in this case, we'll expect you to provide a statement on how the work will be divided. We hope that in the coming weeks you'll be able to locate possible project teammates and discuss ideas, and you can make use of both the Piazza and Slack platforms, and also discuss with any member of the teaching team. So now let me provide some very rough length guidelines for the final project. If you're doing a single person project, we'd expect that to be around nine pages, and a two person project would be around 14 pages, a three person project would be around 18 pages, and if you wanted to generalize this to n people, then it would roughly work out as the floor operator applied to 9.5 times n to the 0.6 power. However, it's really worth emphasizing that the precise length of the project is not important. And what's most important is really the scientific content. And depending on your project topic, it might be more appropriate to do a longer or shorter project write-up. In addition to the write-up, there's also going to be the option of doing a final project presentation. And this will count for two units of group activities. So therefore, 3% of the grade in the group activities section. For the final project topic, we expect you to find an application area of interest and apply methods from the course to it. And in general, this can be extremely broad. And in previous years, we've seen projects based on a huge range of different topics covering all kinds of different disciplines and areas. Since programming is an integral part of AM205, we expect that every project will involve some coding and no purely theoretical projects will be allowed. However, it's certainly advantageous sometimes if you can find projects that have some connection to AM205 theory or related concepts. Many students in the course have ongoing research projects and in general it's fine and sometimes encouraged to take inspiration for projects directly from research projects. However, if you do this, then we ask that the project that you undertake in AM205 is something that you specifically do for the course rather than something that was already ongoing. So there will be a final project proposal that will be due by 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, November 13th. And the project proposal involves scheduling a half-hour meeting over Zoom with one member of the teaching team to discuss your project idea. And four points will automatically be awarded for doing this. And nothing written is necessary. All that you have to do is come and pitch your idea to the member of the teaching team and discuss with them possible directions and approaches that you're going to take. However, if you wish, you can bring associated documents that might help facilitate this conversation. The total grade for the project will be 60 points, and a detailed breakdown of the point allotment is provided in a document on the website that provides a number of other further details. In AM205, the homework assignments have deadlines that are deliberately front-weighted toward the first half of the semester, and this is deliberately designed to free up time in the second half of the semester to work on the final project. And we therefore hope that you'll have 
enough time to really be ambitious with your final project idea.